Bonchan, I mean, as, as a player, has just been so solid, so read heavy. And I mean, in, in general, has just been a difficult competitor for anyone to take down. And I mean, that goes for both of these guys. And that's why they're in winner's finals. It's a clash of titans. We're going to see who takes that pole position for grand finals. Sako obviously is coming with the Manat. We're about to find out what Bonchan is coming with, the Karen. The Karen, and that makes a lot of sense, right? When you're talking about the rushdown style, that's exactly what Manat is pretty much weak against. Yes. You want to make sure, as Manat, to keep as far away from your opponent as possible, or at least within striking distance. Problem is, Karen does that so much better at the mid-range game than Minot does. Mm -hmm. So that's why we're going to have to figure out what Sako's going to do exactly to kind of uh, stop Bonchan from getting into that space in the first place. We've seen, the, oh, again, a bunch of uh, crouch jabs already doing a great job stuffing the momentum. We've seen the Stand Fierce come out. Oh, and then he My actually God. activated the V-Trigger only to get clipped by the orb recall. And this is going to be tough, right? The stun is racking up against Bonchan. Sakonoko does get the stun, and it's going to be a perfect, more than enough damage. You already know. Oh, man, we're seeing the stars right there. Sako out the gate with a perfect. Mm -hmm. That's how you establish this winner's finals. Of course, Bonchan, though, he's uh, been at this game for a long time. Not going to let that crumble his mental. You can see already sweep punishing the sweep. And you see that medium punch, right? Trying to get that buffer going against Sakonoko. When I talk about that mid-range game as Karen, She's able to counter poke against the orbs because of the hurt box implemented in this season now. So Bonchan is trying to apply that threat, but Sakonoko doesn't give a damn. He's been pressing heavy punch as if, you know, it's, his life depended on it. Yeah, he's like, you're going to have to show me, bro, that you're going to punish this consistently or not to discourage me from doing it. Right now, Sako just doing a great job harassing with the uh, orbs. The normal is putting out the orb this time, and Bonchan going to walk away from it, which is fine, but he's the one at the life deficit. He's eventually going to have to make something happen. Yeah. And so I was actually talking about it, you know, as as Sakunoko is getting himself ready to let this orb go out, right? Bonchan with the aggression is going to be so tough to deal with. Now that the orb is so far away, it's like, oh, he tried to get his turn back right there. But Sakunoko doing a great job of keeping himself out of harm's way against Karen's explosiveness. That's exactly what we're looking forward to, right? Mm -hmm. Whether or not Bonchan is going to open up Sakunoko and if Sakunoko could weather the storm. Exactly, and he's doing a great job of that right now, right? Really made it out of the toughest situation he found himself in in that corner. Just wake up with the button and then prioritizing the recall rather than anything else. Oh boy. Beautiful. Hey, Beautiful. That is nasty. I think even prior to that threat of throw for the kill, there wasn't a bar of V reversal for the side of Bonchan. I think there would have been just a little bit more chip on the side of Sakonoko to get a critical art finish. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he would have got a chip finish against Bonchan. So that was a very good position to put himself in, right? Either to throw or the block string into chip. Yeah, Sako was in complete control that round. Really never letting him Bonchan do anything, but I mean, waking up with uh, aggression here in this game. Bonchan already has Sako in the corner. You can see pressing the big ones, the so B smart. skill. Wow. Moves her forward, kind of gets her out of that range of the recall. And again, weathering the storm, right? Even after that knockdown, Sakunoko creates some space for himself, especially after that heavy punch. Yeah, right now, back to that Stan Fierce game, and Bonchan tired of that V reversaling off. So smart. Yeah, that's a great life. And again, he has the screen advantage here. You can see him backing up a bit, trying to get Sakunoko to press something, get a clean whiff punish. But that Stan Fierce is definitely tough to do so, even with the extended hurt box. And I like Bonchan opting to just move away from the orb. Doesn't want to get any sort of uh, frame trap against him, but this is going to be tough. Oh, I'm surprised an orb didn't go off as soon as Karen took the disguise. Yeah, usually Sako is so ready with an orb to protect himself. Used, yeah, not even an orb let go out of there to kind of punish the v reversal. So definitely something that we usually see Sako do. However, Bonchan with that usual round ender from Karen, stand medium kick. I'm thinking to myself, you know, Sako wasn't prepared for that option against Bonchan as he hasn't shown that card a lot up until this point, right? Game one, we didn't see that many V reversals, but this time around, Bonchan has been pretty liberal about his usage of the V gauge. Yeah, very smart. I just like the, the aggressive V reversals a lot of the time. Make sure you cut off that screen, get the knockdown going. But right now, Sako's the one with the knockdown here. Life lead. Ooh, he even tried to bait something out with the Another. shallow drill, but back to back, Fierces has him in the corner. Verge of stun. Another view of her soul, but the stop against the shoulder. The Orochi did not come out of time. The back throw, pretty significant, right? Bonchan resetting the situation, now pushing Sako into the corner without threat of stun any longer. 
But this is going to be tough. Sakunoko is still able to manage this control, right? At least control this pace against Bonchan because of the life lead. Oh, Bonchan with the boom for that time. Yeah, just the fact that Bonchan got back in here and now he's going to be able to take that life lead with a throw bait. You're dead if you get thrown. Oh, my goodness. And he takes for his life, but it doesn't matter. Just staying persistent. Bonchan, if you, at first you don't succeed, try again. We like referencing Aaliyah around here. Mm-hmm. That was, uh, you know, even after that tech throw, that activation, that was so smart for Bonchan to keep it aggressive yes. because of the life that he had left. It was so uh, mm. unexpected, I feel like. Sako did let the orb go, but just wasn't ready for the throw because yep. of the fact that he was possibly uh, getting the negative edges going. Mm -hmm. And there was uh, some aggression from Bonchat even earlier, just a couple of instances before that, when the stun bar was still close to being cashed out on. And we saw like a dash up back throw, which uh, led to the depletion. That was like the thing that won him the round was that back throw. Absolutely. So, I mean, great stuff from Bonchan here holding on. Very smart decision making from both. I like the aggression from Bonchan and I like the discipline from Sakonoko, understanding what situation is his for him to climb back out of the rut. Oh, I like that sweep. We haven't seen a lot of those checks from Bonchan, but with the range that Sako is playing, I, I think it's a smart idea. Mm -hmm. yeah, you can see he finally oh, yeah. uh, saw a stand fierce that whiff, but Bonchan's still not comfortable with trying to swing into it. Oh, yeah. The one time I feel like Bonchan has attempted to get that kind of dash in, it does oh. not pay off at all. Sakonoko with the second perfect of the set coming in hot to start off game number three. Damn, I didn't ever realize how disrespectful that throw was. She steps on your face like three times. She climbs up on it, stomps on it, and then like flips backwards. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Concussion city, bro. If your back isn't broken, her neck isn't broken first. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, no. Why does it autocorrect? I don't know. She turned around. Every now and then. Sorry. <laughs> what did I get to? <laughs> Sakonoko. Jesus. Hit him with a turnaround for sure. You know, but now with such a hefty live lead here, Bonchan's going to start having to make something happen. I mean, with that V-Trigger activation, close to the distance afterwards, but what a tech throw from Sako. Mm -hmm. The very last second, yeah. Oh, Bonchan with the clean punish on the V-Reversal. It's so tough. While she's in V-Trigger, again, with a good end Ken, even able to dash back with afterwards, like, you want to risk that. Bonchan, very close to forcing another round, and he does. Back and forth we go in this set. This is what we wanted here from these two Titans. And I'm glad he committed to the throw uh, because he's still going to be within range to hit like a medium kick instead of just going for something like a stand short and apply pressure that way. It's still so tricky. That was a do or die scenario no matter what for Sakunoko. But it leaves him at a very interesting advantage. Does have a good amount of bars. Or actually, he has one whole bar in comparison to Bonchan and gets to play out this middle ground game again. What in the world? Ooh. Yeah, I don't know what that was supposed to check, but he does check the dash there. Yeah, as long as it's not a standing heavy punch, I think challenging the Sapo cancel afterwards is going to be pretty good. You're not going to be risking too Ooh. much of the trade-off. Right before she landed, actually got the EX so aware. Still, this has been Bonchan's world. Sako just living in it for now. I'd watch that YouTube series. Hell yeah. Oh boy, yeah, going for the risky stuff. After the Guren, Guren Ken, going for the, the throw mm. option. Wow, and just, yeah, closing the distance with that V-Skill. Oh, oh my goodness! Are you dead? Oh, oh boy, this is the perfect time to ask, is it gonna kill? <laughs> Put some on life support here. Oh, and the empty jump throw. You were so worried about all the orbs, and I can't blame you. You gotta be. And that's why Sako Noko just goes with the throw instead. The messed up thing is, I feel like if Sako Noko landed and then jumped again, the orb still would have been in time just in case Momoto, or sorry, just in case Bonchan decided to throw tech. Yeah, it would have punished the throw up. tech for sure. You're a bully. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was, that's so, that's so demeaning. It is, man. It's just like cutting off all options, right? You're like, even in a situation where, like, you beat me, you beat me twice as hard. Just because, like, I was wrong on the throw tech and I immediately punished for it. And that's the beauty of Minot, man. I feel like there's only one person in the world that could fully pilot this mech, and that is Sakunoko. Exactly, man. That's why people, you know, still, of course, love their characters that are a lot of bang for their buck, right? Where it's not too much execution necessary for a lot of reward. But that's why these characters are so special, too. The ones that take a lot of work, these executions, because these monsters like Sako just make them look so sick. True. Oh, and what a time to back throw. Did you see him cash out on all that life? That is a full, like, Tenko conversion 
uh, kind of damage. Yo, and Sako's really... Oh, he Ooh. let the orb go. Bonchan thought Good it was man. his turn, but it's not. Instead, Sako is going to be on set point here after the CA. Do you see how many roundhouses he hit? He got. He went for nothing fancy. He still had four orbs remaining. He wanted to place his stamp and place his mark and immediately going into match point. That was nasty. Back-to-back -back Round roundhouses getting as much damage as he could. He wants to end it now. Yeah, man, Sako is looking uh, so strong here on this Manat. Who cutting off the orb? I guess Bonchan is looking for the EX Tenko, but yeah, it hit her low enough to knock her out of it. Oh, oh my goodness. Wow! Going all the way back! Yeah, you can't punish it that close. Bonchan, great awareness there. Yeah, but that's why Sako, you see, using the stab medium punch instead. Already a little bit more wary of where he's going to use that stand fear stuff. V shift to oh avoid that and a huge God. punish. Are you serious? Side swipe on top of it. He's been bullying with that V skill as well. He's been getting oh. to V trigger quickly because of it. Oh, oh it's my gosh! Sako with a clean whip punish via the raw EX. Give me them legs, bro. I like them heels. I'll take them home with me. Well done for Manat Sako in grand finals of winner's side. Yo. I never thought I would see Minot try to steal someone else's wedges and make that <laughs> walk towards the grand finals to sit in the current throne. But that's just how it goes. Three to one. Sako Noko Sok with an oh, impressive bro. feat against Bonchan and what looked like Bonchan having that kind of uh, momentum in game number three. But Sako Noko just shutting it down completely. Very, very impressive. Let's take a look at the bracket and what's left for Bonchan getting sent to the Sharks. Higuchi and Momochi, this is going to be coming up very soon, but again, Bonchan just awaiting his fate after these two go at it in the loser semifinals.